and talk to me, man. Like, what's going on and how have you been? Um, I'm frustrated today, more so, just mentally. Um, yeah, I'm just frustrated today, <laughs> honestly. It, that's about what you know. Um, I uh, so I had to work long shift today. Um, and I invited this girl actually to a party, um, with my other friend. So all of them were at the party, but then I got called in to, go, to head a uh, emergency meeting that took almost three to four hours. So I had to leave the party and I never went back. But long story short, the girl that I invited there, um, she, I guess, so when I was coming back from work, I just got a call from our friends and, and they were telling me pretty much, you know, some of the things that she was out there doing. And it was like, okay. It was already a long day at work. So when they called me, they was telling me like, oh, she was, you know, with another with other men and she was doing this and she was doing that. I was like, okay. Like, so really, why am I frustrated? I'm more frustrated at myself than I continue to one, it was just a long day at work, but two, more so often what we talk about, uh, the self-love thing, controlling your environment, uh, making sure that, you know, everything that is around you is based on what you want to see in terms of results. And so, um, just time and time again, like scenarios like this just get me a little frustrated, a little disappointed, a little annoyed. Yeah, but what are you frustrated and disappointed about? Like, what's the problem? Yeah, I mean, it was like, I wasn't expecting to hear that type of news. Um, just more so, like, how she was acting at the party. Yeah, but is this your girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. So why do you give a shit? I mean, it was a girl I like. Sure. It was a girl I liked mm -hmm. for the last few weeks. I mean, went on a few dates. Why not? Okay, but you've been talking to other girls and stuff, yeah? Uh, more or less. All right, so some girl who you like but aren't in a relationship with had fun that didn't involve you at a party? Yeah. Like, seriously, like, what is, what's the problem? And when I say what's the problem, I don't mean tell me what I want to hear. I mean, tell me what you think the problem is. Uh, I mean, the, I mean, the problem is more so myself. I just feel like, um, I just feel like there's things that I was like, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm trying to, to kind of show how serious I am about well, actually, get, oh, like, oh, can you like even get closer to the camera or talk up? Because yeah, you're yeah, I said I said I was doing certain things to kind of get closer to her and and it show you know steps, progressive steps. But um, when I hear things like that, it just makes me feel like what's the point? So what you were trying to have a relationship with her? I was I, yeah, I was definitely trying to date her, but. Mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah, I was trying to date her, but okay. So, when you say you were trying to date her, what exactly do you mean? Um, I was trying to take her serious. I haven't been in a relationship in a while, so. Oh, you said take her serious. There we go. Yeah. That's an interesting keyword. So, what does it mean by take her serious? Um. Take her serious is like towards the relationship. Yeah, but like define take her serious. What does that mean? Um, oh, like taking her serious is like, you know, no games. Like not not playing around, not 
talking to this girl and this girl and that girl. And you say you just said that you were talking to other girls. I'm sorry. So I I said to you, you're talking to other girls, and you said, yeah, yeah. But that's because like, but I, that that doesn't mean I've taken her to, like I haven't gotten to the point where I've taken her serious. I said I was more inclined to take her serious, but. Things like this show me why I shouldn't. Okay, but I, what I'm asking is, what is the big deal? So, all right, what? So what I'm hearing is she went to a party, she mm-hmm. danced with a couple of men, was probably grinding on them, probably kissed some guy. I can't imagine you heard anything worse than that. But even if you did, right, yeah, like this, it's not like. It's not like you're saying to me, hey, so I've, I've, I've been in a relationship with this girl. This is my girlfriend. And she went to a party and did X, Y, and Z. This is literally someone who you have no hold over and has no hold over you in any way, shape, or form. Why does this matter? I mean, in the literal sense of it, it shouldn't matter because I guess at the, at the end of the day, I can stop it. No, but I'm asking you why it does matter. We both know that like, like why does it matter? Talk. Why does it matter yeah. to me? Yeah. Why do why does it matter? I feel I feel stupid. I feel embarrassed. I feel foolish in a way. So why? just because I invited her to it, but I had to leave early because of an emergency. Like she would have never came if like I didn't invite her. Mm. Ended up leaving early like hey I have to just reconnect when I get off of work, stuff like that. Just to hear after work that this was the result of what took place when I left. Okay, so you believe that, so I'm clear. You've been getting to know this girl and trying to, <clears throat> trying to, hold on, <clears throat> Jesus. You've been getting to know this girl mm-hmm. and trying to build something with her something serious and then you believe that as a result of her doing whatever she did at the party after you left that meant that she doesn't really give a crap about you and that all of your hard work was in vain i mean i i I strongly believe that i i feel like yeah she may still give it she may care about me but it's like what's the what's the point what's the point of continuing you know what I mean? Because then what's to, who's to say the next party and the next party and like, oh, I'm just not there. And like, like we're too old to be playing games, and, you know, like those type of games. Yeah, but OK, you say you're too old to be playing games, but yeah. what did you do with what have you done with this girl before the party? Like what? have you done with this girl that leads you to believe that you have a right to be annoyed that she I don't know what did she what did she even do anyway what did you well, that's a, I mean I don't have the right to be annoyed at her I'm more so annoyed with myself allowing, for for allowing my, for allowing myself to continuously like entertain this type of stuff like the same same but, but what have you okay but what have you entertained so you were getting to know a girl mm-hmm. trying to and then you invited her to a party you left the party and then afterwards she was grinding on some guy if you don't want to entertain that then stop talking to her yeah that's, yeah that's, yeah, that's, yeah 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 but that's what's a big deal well, there's, no, like, there's no big deal you just actually it is because you're, you're, you're upset yeah, I mean, I was definitely, I mean, just because I say, okay, I'll stop talking to her, it doesn't mean I wasn't, like, annoyed at it or it didn't bother me initially. But, I mean, the end result of that is once you understand and process your feelings, like, yeah, then it's cool. Yeah. Just move forward. So I would like to know what has happened between you and her in the past few weeks that makes you believe that you should be annoyed by this. Um, I'm trying to understand. It's like, like what has happened, like in terms of what we've done together, or well, yeah, like for instance, let's say 
you were walking down the street and you saw a woman and then you're like oh my god I like the look of her and then you went and spoke to her and then she gave you a number boom and then you were so excited that let's say you you sent her IG to one of your friends and then your friend just happens to go oh you know what that girl you sent me the IG of she's actually at this party and oh my god she's grinding on some guy and blah 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 like in that situation would you be pissed off and hurt and offended I wouldn't be pissed off at her. I haven't invested okay. in time. Okay, great. So I'm saying, what have you done with this girl that okay. leads you? Mm. Yeah, so I mean, just plain and simple, we've been going on some dates. Um, nothing like crazy, like in terms of like sexually, but I mean. Oh, okay. You've been on dates? Yeah. How many? Three. Okay. And what's happened physically on these dates? Um, Aside from like grinding and kissing, nothing, nothing more than that. Okay, so why haven't you attempted to have anything more happen? Um, you've been on three dates with her, and I have think you it, tried it, to take her home. Have I tried to take? No, I haven't. Why? I just, I, I just haven't considered it. I, I mean, I've considered, I've considered it, but I just yeah, haven't. But why didn't you? I, I don't know what you're grinding on her. You're grinding on her. You probably rock hard. You're kissing her and stuff. Mm-hmm. Is that the extent of what you wanted to do? No. So why didn't you do more? I don't know. I just kind of expected to like just go with the flow. Mm, but you know that as a man, it's your job to set the flow, right? It's funny, yes. I was having a conversation with a woman about this quite recently, <clears throat> some girl I was seeing, and she basically said um, she would like the freedom to have sex with other people if it comes up. I said, yeah, that's actually cool with me. But she goes, I don't want to go around and look for it. I just want to be free to do it if it happens like the idea being for argument's sake if she happens to be at some party or something and happens to form some connection with some guy and it just kind of happens and I said to her look that's all well and good and that works for you because you're a woman but as a man I have never had sex with a woman where it's just happened I've always had to make it happen it doesn't just happen but her being a woman she could be she could say I just want to go with the flow and if the flow leads to sex great but as a man, it's our job to basically set the flow. The only time I've ever had sex with a woman when it's just happened is if, like, it's my girlfriend. And it genuinely did just happen because, you know, <clears throat> she's so comfortable with me that she doesn't really need me to make any huge news. So what I'm basically getting at is, like, I don't know who this girl is and what she's about and blah, blah, blah. But you didn't do yourself any favours whatsoever by going on three dates with her and, making no attempt to do anything else but to hug and kiss you see like you saw her grinding on these guys at the party and stuff the so i guess i would say part of what you're annoyed at is the fact that what you heard her do at the party either was worse than worse in inverted commas or more sexual than what she did with you or it implies that she's prepared to go further than she did with you yeah is that part of it yeah i agree Okay, cool. But this is it. Those men who she did that stuff with at the party led her to that destination. So let's say you heard that she gave some guy head in the party. Let's just say, let's say you did. If you did, if that's what she did, she didn't just offer to do it. Some guy basically pushed the head down and then she did it. You know, you have to lead as the man. And if you're not going to do something, it's not going to happen. And this is why I'm like probing and probing and trying to get to the bottom of what's actually going on. And it's actually good that we have this call today. It's very good because, yeah, we can really get to the bottom of this. You, it's your job to set the tone. And if you're not going to do something, it's probably not going to happen. Now, a mistake that we make as men, this is a huge mistake that we make as men, is that we think that if we really like a girl, that she's different to the rest and should be treated differently. And what I mean is like, I have so much respect for you. I wouldn't disrespect you by trying to take you home because you're a good girl and I want you to know that you're a good girl. I think you said that one of your best friends was a girl from church. 
So I can imagine I grew up in a Christian family going to church and stuff. So I, I get it. Like, I totally get it. Like, my family is Christian. I, I get it. More than you realise. I grew up going to church until I was, like, 12. But you see, when you treat a girl with respect and I'm using the air quotes because you see there's a belief in society that if you treat a woman sexually that you, you're disrespecting her there's that belief and I think that belief is quite toxic and it gets into people's minds and it causes this kind of situation so you're with a girl you respect her so because you respect her you're not going to you're not going to go too far like you're on the date you're kissing but you're not going to touch her breast or you're not going to crack a joke, or you're not going to say things about what you're thinking about doing, or you're not going to talk about sexual fantasies and whether or not she likes dildos and vibrators or whatever. You're not going to, you're not going to talk about that stuff, but all that stuff that you're not talking about because you respect her is all stuff that she thinks about. It's all part of her existence. Like, she's not a Disney princess. She's, you think of like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I don't know, like name some Disney film you've seen, like I don't know, Pocahontas or Aladdin or The Little Mermaid. And they were like, <sighs> <sighs> what? I've never heard of sex. I'm a Disney princess. <sighs> and then you treat girls like that. And on the one hand, they kind of like it because it's nice to be treated like a princess. But on the other hand, you're denying a huge part of who they are. And when you do that, you will have situations like this occur. Like, I'm not saying that, I'm not necessarily saying that the reason she did this with the other guy is because you didn't do anything. Like, she probably would have done it anyway. Who the heck knows? I don't know. But you're not helping your case at all. You really know. You, even if you want a relationship with a woman, you want to have a firm sexual foundation to that relationship yes you know you respect her yes you talk about politics yes you want to know her opinion on whatever it is you know yes you're going to treat her well and all of that stuff but you don't ignore all of that and she needs to feel it from you as well she really needs to like feel that strong pull that magnetic pull which she was getting from the guys at the party she was whoever it was that she did whatever she did with that guy was just like yo fuck it like this is what's up and she's like oh i'm attracted to that and of course she's probably slightly drunk or whatever which isn't gonna you know well it's gonna help her to lose some up you hear what i'm saying yeah yeah this is kind of like what i was saying before about being a man or your masculinity or whatever because when you were with her, like if if I was a woman, you could say, yeah, you know, I was with her and kissing. I wanted to go with the flow. And your average woman is going to hear that and go, oh, yeah, that's so nice. Yeah. But me, I know that you wanted to do more. No way you didn't. No way you didn't. You wanted to do more. Of course you did. Of course you did. You didn't just want to do that. You wanted to do more but you wouldn't allow yourself to try and do more. So on one level, she is either going to think one of a couple of things. She's either going to think, okay, so this guy doesn't want me that much. She might think that, or she might think this guy is scared. Both of those things aren't great. And definitely not the second one. To be fair, I think most women will kind of go with the second one. This guy is scared. This guy is too scared to take what he wants. Can't do that. Now, here's the thing, right? So, you know, you say, like, you want to treat her, like, properly or respectfully or something because you see her as a relationship-type material. Well, let me give you a, a little insight. Let's say a woman, let's say she's looking at you and she's like, Edmund, I see him as relationship material. Do you know what she wants? She doesn't want you to not try and have sex with her. She wants you to try and have sex with her so she can get the thrill of you trying to have sex with her. And then so she can turn you down and then make herself feel like a good girl and prove to you that she's a good girl. But then secretly she can go away and think and fantasize about what would have happened if she actually did it. That's actually what she wants. 
He actually wants that. So even if it's like, this is some relationship type woman and it's not a one night thing, she wants you to try because the only reason why she's not doing it is just because society tells her that she can't do it. She still wants to feel that sexual thrill and the fun and the excitement. She wants you to try. So then she go, oh, huh. And then it's fun and it's exciting and it's naughty. And then she'd be like, no, 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 that's not happening today. That's what she wants. And then when she goes, that's not happening today, she can go, I'm a good girl, I'm not a slut. But God, that was really fun. And then you go home, you have like your, your kiss or your grind or whatever, and you go home and she goes back home. And you know what will probably happen? She'll probably masturbate to the thought of you while she's in bed. And you'd be surprised how often that happens. Probably. I'm not saying like 1,000%, oh, but don't be surprised if something like that happens. Of course, you'll never know because she probably won't tell you unless you ask. But yeah, yeah, you have to give women this stuff. And if you don't give them this stuff, you'll find yourself in situations where you're like, I was so nice to you. I did this, I did this, I did this. And then you go to a party and then you do whatever with that guy. How could you do whatever with that guy? Well, one thing about um, women is if a woman is getting her sexual needs met or her sexual, yeah, sexual needs, she's quite likely to get tunnel vision onto one guy and then not really think about other guys anyway. That's quite likely to happen. Like she's not even thinking because she's just focused on you. And a huge part of that is down to sex. So if she is feeling free and open to explore that side of herself and really step into that sexual space with some guy. To be honest, she will likely start to ignore other guys. And it's like, if you, if you give a woman really great sex, like really great, where she loves it and, you know, her toes are curling and all that stuff, She's quite likely to just ignore other men. Quite likely. Like the odds, the odds of a woman who's getting dipped down properly actually entertaining other men is relatively slim. They, when a woman's kind of entertaining other men, the odds are, the odds are, like this isn't all women at all. Because like there's some women that like to have open relationships and there's some women who they're just cheating for whatever reason or whatnot. But most women, if they're getting their sexual side satisfied, they will just focus on that guy and they will ignore other men. So, yeah. What do you think of that? I agree. I agree. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, man. I, I mean, if you ever see her again or any other woman you date, don't hold back. Like, seriously, do not hold back. Uh, I should try to, uh, I guess, have sex with them on the first date or? Well, honestly, yeah. But like, you know, if she says no, she says no. But like, you have to show that that's a place you're prepared to go. And that's what I mean. And again, it's what sort of conversations are you prepared to have with her? Like, do you ever talk to girls about their sexual fantasies? Like, whether you do or you don't, it's not really the point. But like, you know, do you? Is that something that you do? Do you talk about the wildest sex they ever had? Do you talk about what body parts of a man turn them on? Do you speak about what body parts of a woman turn you on? Do you speak about places that you've had sex? Do you talk about toys and stuff like that? Do you speak about threesomes? Have they ever had a threesome? Like, do you really, you might be thinking that this girl that you had the date with, she's such a nice girl and blah, blah, blah. I bet you she's considered threesomes, at least. She's considered yeah. it. She's thought about it. She's probably done it. You'd be surprised how many girls have done it. You like you really would, but I bet she's thought about it. Yeah, you're not you're not going to those places. 
And it's largely because of your Christian frigging upbringing. And I know that because I say that as the guy <laughs> comes from a frigging Christian Jamaican family. Like, I get it. Mm. Going to the same growing up in church and your best friend is a girl from the church. And uh, Yeah, I get it. Oh. Okay. So I to take. So I to take. Mm. But what I will say is, this is why. Um. Like, never hold back when it comes to these calls and stuff that's getting you down. Because it, it opens doors and it allows us to get to, you know, the root of issues. So, the more open you can be with me about what's going on with you, the more I can help you. I've got well, a podcast can... on... Hmm? Yeah. No, I was like, well, you, you definitely got the raw version of me today. Um, the raw mm. emotion today. So. Well, that's good. That's very good. This is great. Where um, sexual escalation is concerned, I don't know if you know the term, but that's largely what we're speaking about. The concept of going from having a conversation to having sex. I've got a couple of podcasts about that. Um, if you listen to the Game Global podcast, there's literally one called something like Sexual Escalation Explained. But well, have a good listen to that. Because that's a, it's a large part of what we're talking about. But fundamentally, you have to let the animal out. How do you know what that animal looks like if you've never really let it out? Yeah, but again, bro, it's not like this thing's just been laying dormant in, inside you. What sort of things are you thinking about when you're having your sexual fantasies alone? Now, you'd have to tell me, but my point is, you do know. You do. You have a sexual side. It's not like you've never had an orgasm in your life. You've had orgasms. You've had orgasms on your own. You've had orgasms on your own because you were either thinking about stuff or looking at stuff that was designed to turn you on. Like, come on, you do not. The point is, you see all of that stuff there, you need to bring that out. That's kind of the point. Whatever the heck that is, that just made you do a little smirk. Right? I just saw a little tiny smirk. Whatever that <laughs> is, bring that out. It's really that simple. It's not like trying to go super saiyan where it's like you have to dig deep and really like access this latent part of your DNA that hasn't been like hasn't been utilized for generations. It's not like that. It's just you know. It's easier said than done. This is definitely a tougher conversation for me. This, this is definitely what. I said this is definitely a tougher conversation for me. You mean the conversation we're having or like speaking to women about this stuff? Both, but primarily the conversation we're having. Well, oh, good. That means I'm hitting enough. <laughs> yeah, that's actually good. <laughs> but um, I don't have anything else to add, so do you have any questions that you want to ask? Um. I don't have any questions right now. I I process this. I want to process what we talked about today, and um, see if I can come up with some more direct and more intentional questions to get me from where I am to where I want to be. I mean, look, that is great, and any questions that you have, just ask. But realize this: all around the world, there are men who have. N like no issue with women. And it's a small percentage of men, but these men do exist. And the point is that fundamentally, you need to just go with your instincts. 
Like you're just holding back. That's it. So when you're with her, and like, for instance, you even said that you were like touching and grinding and kissing. So you've got huge amounts of compliance from her. She's like happily accepting what you're doing. So when you're grinding and kissing, the next step is to touch her leg, to touch her thigh, to touch her breast, to say, come on, let's go back to my place. There's like any number of things to do, but you're just stopping there. You just have to move forward. Fundamentally, just move forward and go to the next step. Do the thing that you want to do. You see what I mean? Yeah. Look, let's say when you were kissing your skull that you said something like, all right, let's go back to my place. Let's say you did. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know what the worst case scenario would be? Then she'd say, no, I'm not prepared to do that. Yeah. That'd be the worst. But she would respect you for trying. And this is something you need to realize. So when you are too afraid to do stuff like that, women lose respect for you. Mm. So let's say, let's say you went, went out on a date with a woman and you made your intentions known, whatever your intentions were, and she totally wasn't interested, but you made your intentions known. She would respect you and she'd be like, I'm not interested in this guy, but I respect the guy that he, this is a man who has respect for himself, carries himself like a man and has the courage to go for the things that he feels like he wants, even though she's not interested. But this is provided that you obviously stop when she says she's not interested. Obviously, if you're not, you're a rapist, which is obvious. But she'd respect you. But if you don't do it, then you're a pussy. Mm. I don't respect that at all. Okay. <laughs> they don't respect it at all. At all. Because think, think about the sorts of things that women want. They want like a man to lead, to yeah. dominate and stuff like that, to protect them from the world. If you're too scared of her, if you're so scared of her, how can you do any protecting from the world? You know? Yeah, you're right. It's really not a big deal if she says no. All new territory. Hmm? It says all new territory. One more time? No, it says this is all new territory for me. Mm. Well, I'm glad we've had this conversation. But yeah, go after the things that you want. Go after the things that you want. The more you go after the things that you want, the less you'll have situations like this occur. Mm. So what I'm basically getting at is this woman you've been on a date with. Now, don't get me wrong, she might have ended up kissing some other guy at this party. She might have done. I'm not saying she definitely would. Or whatever the hell it is that she did. But let's say you were to find yourself in a situation with 10 separate girls where you're trying to date them on whatever. And then it only goes so far. And then you hear that they went way further with some of the dude that God knows where. If all 10 of those women were women that you had actually just you know, made your intentions clear and actually been the man and trying to try to advance on, much less of them would have actually ended up doing something with somebody else. Much less of them. They would have been doing that stuff with you. Some of them would have, but a higher number would have just been with you.
And then there is also the fact as well that, again, it sounds like you're a little bit too invested in this girl anyway because she wasn't actually in a relationship with you. Yeah. So there's a degree of you being too invested in the outcome. Mm. I I would argue that if she was here, and let's say we're on some sort of like chat show like Montel Williams or whatever from back in the day, she'd be like, what? We had a couple of dates and we kissed a couple of times, but it's not anything serious. We didn't even have sex. Like we just had a couple of little dates and it's, I wasn't even really sure if I was feeling it. She'd say something like this. She'd be, she'd be kind of, she'd be kind of defensive and kind of like, what's your problem? But anyway, so that's it. That's all I have to say. So if you have no questions for me, well, just, yeah, have a good think about everything that we've said. And if I were you as well, I would go back and I would re-watch like our past course. I'm not saying that you specifically need to do that now, but what I'm saying is every coaching call we've had is actually online. And you can yeah. just go back and just listen to all of them and just you know, get a refresh. You and it will also help you to see how far you can as well. Hmm? You said it was called sexual um something explain what was the the the, the, the oh yeah over. sexual escalation sexual escalation explain this if you go to the game global podcast it's like episode god it's somewhere between episode one and 20 like maybe episode 10 11 12 or something like that okay mm. we- all right, man. So, yeah, that's it. And thank you to you. Thank you to anybody who is listening. If you'd like to be coached by us at Game Global, we have the Game Academy, which is a VIP group in which me and Joe effectively will coach you and give you all of the information that you need to get from where you are right now to where you want to be. It's a brotherhood, it's a family, and we, we help and we offer as much support as is absolutely possible. So that's gameglobal.net forward slash academy. So thank you to you, Edmund. Thank you. Look, look, hold your head up, man. Hold your head up. If we keep doing these calls, okay, let's say for a few months, you're going to look back at these calls and then at some point you're going to like, not even just laugh, but it's going to be like, whoa, how much have I actually grown? This is all good. This is all good. This is the whole, the whole purpose of this coaching is this, because you have some sort of situation occur. Then we speak about it. Then I help you to see a perspective that you didn't see. And then that changes things forever because you see this whole issue now of you being on dates with girls and not doing what you should do. You now know about this. You see what I mean? You didn't know that you didn't know it before, but now you actually know that you don't know it. And now you know what you should do. The whole rest of your life is now going to be forever changed. Mm. So don't feel bad. It's very good that this happened, especially while we're in the middle of this coaching. You see? Yeah. So, yeah, hold your head up. There's things I did with girls years ago that I just know I'd never do today. Never. <laughs> never. So you're good, man. You're good. But anyway, goodbye. See you later. And have a good week, okay? All right, man. Thank you.